guys, it's Simply Obsessed and welcome to my channel and welcome to part 2 of my Sims 4 Strangerville Let's Play series. In the last part, we got into some interesting things pretty early. A few neighbors stopped by to welcome Cassie and Rodney to Strangerville and these neighbors were kind of weird. They were moving and grooving and twitching kind of funny, their eyes are really big, their smile was really wild. And I Cassie tried to chat with them, get to know them a little bit, see if she could, you know, make a friend and, you know, that's a local to the town. But all they wanted to talk about was the mother, and it was really weird. They were saying some really strange things. So uh, both Cassie and Rodney decided to back off and told them, well, you know what, we got some things to do. Maybe you guys should head on. Well, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. But as they were leaving, they noticed that these weird locals were planting some things in their garden. And they were planting these bizarre glowing seeds in their garden and not only did they put some things in their garden it turns out one of them had put something in their refrigerator and we found that out because an investigator stopped by to confiscate their refrigerator. So Cassie and Rodney were under investigation for a second. They had the refrigerator confiscated. We had we're locals in our neighborhood planting things in our garden and that was just the beginning. A little later throughout the day Cassie did a little bit of digging to try to get a feel for the town. She went to a local uh, library so she chatted with a few locals and found out that she should take a look at the secret lab and a conspiracy theorist that she ran into told her to check out a curio shop and while there she started to befriend a conspiracy theorist by the name of Irwin. He told her that he could he could give her the hookup if she's really ready to take this investigation seriously and uh, give her some some things that could help her out. Now here we are it is the next day and Cassie has decided to take the advice of the conspiracy theorist and check out the secret lab which is in a crater on the outskirts of town. And you guys, I absolutely love this area. Now, even though there's some weird things going on and people are kind of weird and twitchy and not really telling us the truth about a lot of things, I love this town. I think it is so beautiful and I'm loving the details that I'm discovering. If you look through here, it looks like somebody tried to escape from the secret lab, like something or someone tried to escape from the secret lab because you can see that this fence is broken in and then this truck is overturned and whatever was in here spilled out and I, I just I just love the little details so far and uh, I'm just having so much fun with this you guys and I hope that you guys are too so what we're gonna do is gonna have our dear Cassie try to make her way in to this secret lab uh, can we have her just go here yeah all right, so that was easy enough. She was able to make her way in. Now let's see what we need to do or what we should do while we're here. Now this door is glowing. Let's have her examine this door. And maybe we can make our way downstairs and discover some things. Ooh, okay. So there's a lot. There's This is like a maze. There's so much down here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I can't wait to, to make our way down here. Oh, and we completed uh, a milestone for our aspiration. Okay, so we... What did we do? She went to the secret lab or something? I just, I just went by so fast. <laughs> I should have been paying more attention to that. Um, but the door is locked. It looks like it requires a key card. Someone around town might know how to get one. Before leaving, poke around the secret lab to gather more information. And we have a new notebook entry added as well. Awesome, awesome. Oh, so I guess the first thing we did was gather um, our first piece of, of evidence because we need to gather 15 pieces of evidence. All right, and we got these things glowing around here, and then there are some computers in here. All right, so we need to gather 15 pieces of evidence. Let's count the ones that are glowing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so there's like eight pieces of evidence here, but I have a feeling we should check out the computer as well. Maybe we can hack into something. There's nobody else here, which is surprising. Um, I was wondering if she's the only one here, but for a secret lab, this place doesn't have much security, <laughs> but that kind of works out for us. So let's just have her go ahead and search for evidence and see what she finds. 
Uh, a packet of mysterious seeds. Nice, nice, nice. Let's bring these walls down so we can see. So she found a packet of mysterious seeds. Uh, let's have her look at this computer. Oh, hack for evidence. Awesome. All right, so Cassie is off to a great start. Good thing that we, uh, good thing she decided to look at this computer because I have a feeling like everything here is probably evidence. <laughs> things that don't look like what they're supposed to look like or things that look like they're nothing. It's probably uh -huh. something. So in addition to searching through these boxes that we can find here, we're going to have her take a look at these uh, computers. Are there only two computers here? Okay, there's another one in here, and these mysterious plants are all around us. Cassie needs to be very, very careful. I do not want her to stumble across something and end up being uh, zombified and contaminated herself. So we gotta be very careful while we're here. But I think she's doing pretty good. There's there's nobody around, so I think she's, she's in the clear. But let's speed through this, Cassie. Is there any evidence on here? Oh, wow, and just like that, the computer's messed up. So we found an aerial surveillance photo. Perfect, awesome. So that brings our our pieces of evidence to three. And after she goes through this, we'll have four. We have an infrared microfilm. And I really want her to get a snack <laughs> from the vending machine here, but I don't I don't trust it. So we're just we're just gonna ignore that. Let's have her gather up as much evidence as she can and then uh, make our way back home and grab a bite to eat because I, I don't really <laughs> I don't really trust anything here. And this computer had another piece of evidence, an aerial surveillance photo. All right, so let's search through here. I think, can we make our way in a circle? All right, we, we completed everything on this side after this pile of evidence. That's it for everything on this side of the secret lab. Let's make our way over here. I cannot wait to go down the stairs, you guys. Cannot wait. But we have to take our time and make sure that we have all the evidence uh, that we need. All right, so let's speed through this and let her gather up as much evidence as possible. A, a hastily scrawled note, awesome. We found uh, infrared microfilm, and our total is now nine pieces of evidence. Okay, so we're making pretty good progress. We are making some pretty good progress. Another infrared microfilm. So just gonna check this over here to check this. Yeah, so we, we we're pretty much off to a really good start. I don't see any other bits and pieces of evidence, but I do want her to check this computer as well and hack for evidence and see if there's anything else before we leave this lot. Um, Cause the next time we come here, you don't know, maybe like this is an off day <laughs> and there's nobody here. So I want her to grab as much information as she can while she's here. Cause the next time we come here, I don't know, things might, things might be a little different. You know, the vibe might be a little different. Somebody might uh, show up here trying to gather evidence as well. And we don't want a confrontation. All right, Cassie, so what bit of information did you gather Ooh. from this computer? Uh. Let's see. Aw, uh, and she didn't find anything useful in this computer. The others had something. All right. All right, Cassie, we're going to have you head back home and grab a bite to eat and take a shower because you're in a strange place looking through strange things and you don't know what's going on here. So let's have you go home, take a shower, refresh, regroup, and then we'll pick up this whole StrangerVille investigation. Alrighty, guys, so Cassie has made it home after investigating the whole StrangerVille secret lab. She went ahead and took a shower, grabbed a bite to eat, so she's feeling pretty refreshed, but she is going to go ahead and grab a drink of water. Oh, and Tango, our poor, poor Tango is afraid of the dishwasher. Poor baby. But since Cassie is home and she's regrouped, I really want her to take a look at the things that she's discovered, the things in her inventory. She has uh, 11 pieces of evidence and we need just four more. What do we need to do to gather the other pieces of evidence? We need to 
question sims around strangerville by a listening device to listen in on scientists and military personnel okay, so we have a few more things that we need to do but i think we are off mm. to a good start she did a quite a bit of oops I don't know what that was about. <laughs> she did quite a bit of investigating for today, but I do want her to take a moment and spend some time with Rodney because, you know, he's stuck in the house all day. <laughs> he's happy to be home, you know, being a writer, doing his thing. But I want them to get out of the house. But before they go out, I kind of want Cassie to use the computer and see if there's anything that she can do with the information that she has. Let's see, is there anything she can do with the information? Upload secret dossier, she can't do that. Um, requisition key card, can't do that. Okay, so is there anything that she can do with the information that she has? Oh my goodness. <laughs> she can change all her passwords from being paranoid. I love it, I love it, I love it. But let's have her open her notebook and see what she's gathered what kind of notes she has and then we can have her and Rodney get out and about now there is oh find a key card to open the secret lab door okay so this is just telling us the next step that we need to do um, in order to get further in this investigation all right so there is a bar a local bar around town and I really want for Cassie and Rodney to kind of like enjoy the town even though <laughs> There's some weird things happening. I, I kind of want them to enjoy the town and not get, oh gosh, <laughs> and not get so caught up in, in their work that they don't, they forget, you know, to spend time with one another. So, uh, Cassie, that's enough browsing the web. We're going to have you and Rodney go to the local bar. Now, even though they're enjoying each other's company and spending some time together outside the house, this is definitely going to help Cassie with her investigation because this bar is where a lot of locals hang out and a lot of military personnel hang out so maybe we could try to interact with some locals here a little bit of the military personnel and see if they have any information for us and maybe while we're out and about we could try to uh, plant a bug a listening device on one of the locals here and see if that works out for us now Rodney he's used to Cassie doing her own thing and, and being kind of weird so what he's going to do is give her a little kiss, kiss on the cheek <laughs> <laughs> little kiss on the cheek and say girl I know you, you gotta do your thing be careful I'll be at the bar and we'll have Cassie go ahead and uh, do her thing so Rodney I want you to order order your favorite drink and Cassie what I want you to do is try to chat with some locals and then you know meet back up with Rodney and get a drink as well um, but let's give this guy a, uh, a military introduction since she's in the military as well um, let's just go ahead and give this guy a military introduction now the thing about Cassie being in the military career and being you know from out of town a lot of people aren't really suspicious of Cassie you know they don't really know what she's really up to they think she's She's just the new kid on the block trying to blend in and, you know, fill around Strangerville. So they don't really know that she's investigating them. So with Cassie being in the military career, it's kind of good because she's able to get closer to military personnel. But with her being new in town, um, they're not really too suspicious of her. They kind of underestimate her. So I think that's kind of a good thing that she's kind of underestimated but she also has the military career co connections so that way she can connect with people in the military on a different level than the locals so what we're going to do is not question about military base but we're just going to chat with him a little bit uh strangerville investigation let's just talk about let's talk about strangerville a little bit you know not be too suspicious not be too off uh -huh. Because, you know, we don't want them to know That's that we're investigating. Oh, kind of have to be a little secretive that? about this. Oh. If someone got enough evidence, they might be able to use it to get a key card to the lower floors of the lab. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Awesome. So this guy is chatting with us like we're all on the same page. She's not trying to solve the mystery. She's okay with things being weird around here. She's one of us. She's in the military. So let's chat with them a little bit more. Um... I want to, to be nice to him before we plant a bug because I don't know what type of interaction that is. So let's, um, yeah, let's tell tell a funny uh, inside joke about, yeah, let's hope the secret doesn't get out, blah, blah, blah. Make him think we're on his side. And then um, get to know, oh, gossip about co-workers, discuss work. 
Uh, let's see, let's see. I think they're building up a good enough relationship. They're having a little casual discussion. What else, what else, what else? Discuss words. Um, gossip about co-workers. And then can we go in and um, plant the bug? I don't know how this interaction works. Hopefully it's not too weird. Uh-oh, what's happening? Sad about evilness. Oh, somebody over here is an evil sim. They're not good like Cassie. Uh-oh. And look at Ronnie, keeping a watchful eye. <laughs> Making sure that she's all right while she's doing her thing. All right. Awesome. So how do we plant a... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, oh, wow. So that's how you plant a bug. You hug them and then you, like, stick it on their shirt. Nice. Christopher Montoya didn't notice the bug being planted. Use the listening device to see if Christopher spills any important information. Good job, Cassie. Good job. All right, so we did a little bit of work for the moment. I do want her and Ronnie to enjoy themselves, so let's um, have them dance together. Not arouse too much suspicion. You know, chat with this guy and then leave. <laughs> let's have them enjoy the local nightlife. I kind of like the way this bar looks. It's really bland. It doesn't have much going on, but it's it still looks pretty nice. And I love this whole bar setup. This background right here, and this bar with the road signs, and uh, this clock over here that moves. This is a nice little place. This is a a nice little place in the in the middle of nowhere. I could see I could see a lot of interesting things happening here. <laughs> All right, Ronnie, where are you? No, he's over here enjoying his wine. Okay. Chatting with locals, which is good. Getting to know people. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, Cassie. Get from behind the bar. Oh, this is another military person. Can she talk about Strangerville with them? We have to gather 15 pieces of evidence. Okay. Uh, question sims about Strangerville. Okay, we're not going to question military personnel because we don't want them to know that we're um, investigating. So we're just going to have her order a drink. Order drinks for the group. Order another drink. A juice on the rocks. Order a drink. And just hang out for a little bit. If someone got enough evidence, let's all hope that doesn't happen. Yeah. Okay. So I love how she's getting along with her fellow military personnel. They aren't suspicious of Cassie in any way. They just think that she's one of them. She's the new girl, and she just wants to, you know, fit in. And I love that that's the whole vibe that Cassie's giving off because we do not want them to know <laughs> that Cassie is the one investigating. That would be pretty bad. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. Alrighty, are they having a good time here? Looks like they are. Awesome, awesome. It is getting pretty late. Rodney, he's energized, having a good time, feeling great. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, and I love the detail in these military outfits. Like, look at the belts and the hat and the patches on the arm. I love it. All right. Well, I think our, our work here is done. They had a good time. Rodney's feeling great. It was good for them to get out the house. Let's have them go back home. Because even though this was a time for them to have, you know, some time out of the house, Cassie did plant a bug, and I don't want her to be here if that guy discovers it. So let's have both of them go home and see if we can listen in on uh, that whole military dude and see if he has any information on the stranger bill mystery so we'll catch up with both of them when they get home alrighty guys Cassie and Rodney have made it home safe no one was following them and it looks like nobody noticed that a bug was planted as they were leaving uh, the, the, the bar I don't think anybody noticed that they were up to something it looks like nobody noticed that Cassie had planted a bug on someone so we're just listening in to see if we can can collect any evidence gather any information that might help us hopefully we do because uh, we only have 11 pieces of evidence we need to find these final four pieces of evidence and we also need to visit our friend Erwin at the um, curio the curiosity shop so let's see any evidence any evidence hopefully fingers crossed Cassie's been making a, ooh, wow, 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 what does this say? 
I know that the colonel I know what the colonel said but come on the people have to know what's going on in that crater oh Cassie received Strangerville evidence so we have a top secret audio recording good job Cassie awesome so we now have 12 pieces of evidence all right so we have used the listening device to listen in on scientists and military personnel well we listened in on some military personnel we might have to listen in on a scientist next and we had to continue questioning Sims around town and we need to compile the dossier okay so we're doing that and then we'll be able to open the sealed door at the lab awesome 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 okay so I feel as though Cassie is making some progress uh, is there anything she can do on on the computer with the information that she has now more choices open notebook program yeah okay so there really isn't uh, anything that she can do now um, now that she has new uh, information there isn't any new interaction now it is getting late but what I do want Cassie to do is make her way over to her friend Irwin's curiosity shop and see if she can chat with him let's talk about Strangerville with him one more time be like hey oh it's not Irwin it's somebody else <laughs> it's another conspiracy theorist so maybe we can get some more information from her but I want to befriend as many conspiracy theorists as possible uh, so that way they can you know trust us with giving out information so let's give her a friendly introduction see if we can befriend her it's like hey is Irwin here oh I guess not hi I'm Cassie <laughs> <laughs> and get to know her a little bit because I feel as though befriending conspiracy theorists is going to really help out so let's try to come off as a conspiracy theorist as well which Cassie kind of is she is paranoid and you know the stories that her dad told her kind of not mess with her but kind of made her believe in things that are unseen and made her aware that not everything is what it seems because you know her dad would always tell her look beyond what you see and make sure that you ask questions so Cassie is kind of an unofficial conspiracy conspiracy theorists at heart but they're having a nice little uh, casual conversation can we talk about Strangerville with her maybe talk about Strangerville good vibes awesome all right so she's a good sim as well they're both giving off good vibes I bet if you get enough evidence of weird stuff happening you could convince a scientist or military officer to give you a key card to the lab okay so once again it goes back to us gathering more evidence um, ba -da -da -da. buy curio items is there anything else we can buy is there anything else we can purchase from here let's see so I want her to buy another book we're gonna buy four more of those because I think they're going to come in handy and what else what else what else she already has a lava lamp we didn't really place that out let's buy this really cool poster and just vibe with this person we really I really want Cassie to make sure that she's friends with conspiracy theorists because I really think that if she has their trust they'll give her any information on uh, what's happening okay so we're just gonna buy these things and call it a day and hopefully we'll be able to um, buy some more things now as far as the secret in inventory there's something for 250 simoleons the key card is for 250 simoleons and then there's something else that's a thousand simoleons I cannot wait to discover what that is but Cassie you've done enough chatting it is getting pretty late let's have you go back home and just chill for a minute I mean you've been in a secret <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. whoa 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 look at this person Oh, it's Leslie. Don't go home just yet. Don't go home just yet. Let's see if we can uh, try to talk to Leslie. And if not, can we plant a bug on her and maybe listen in on her? Is she going to stop and let us yeah. talk to her? Oh my gosh, that looks painful. Mira and I know by. <laughs> oh, the <True>? sink. <laughs> 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 can we try to talk to her? Let's see. The mother knows all. Do not resist her. Okay, so she's still doing her thing. Um, can we plant a bug on her? Like, oh, nice Mom, to see you, girl. Well, I'm, <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna let you go. Uh -huh. Awesome. We planted a bug on her. Did she notice? 
<laughs> Leslie didn't notice the bug. Awesome. Can we try to snap her out of it? We're busy. We're busy. No. No, she's not snapped out of it. Oh, okay. Um, let's talk about Strangerville with her. Looks like she snapped out of it for a minute. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We're talking about Strangerville with somebody who's been uh, in, in a weird little scenario that led them to be like this. So hopefully she can give us some different information. I heard there are strange things going on in that lab. Uh, the scientists and military personnel around here can shred light on the situation. Awesome. So we got to talk to her while she's lucid. What else can we ask her? What else? Let's ask about her career. Let's like, try to befriend her. Because she was nice enough to stop by our house, even though she was in that weird state. Um, friendly. Let's just brighten her day and say, you know, I appreciate you stopping by my house to welcome me to the neighborhood. I'm new around here. It's always nice to know a friendly face. There we go. Awesome. All right, so we're going to say goodbye now and head on home. And hopefully, uh, we can listen in on Leslie at some point and see if she knows anything. But come on, Cassie, go home and use the bathroom. Run, run, run. And it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so I think that this is a good time for Cassie to wrap up her investigation. She's had a pretty eventful day. But look at Ronnie over here. What is he looking up? Oh, he's trolling the forms. <laughs> Doing his own thing. All right, Cassie, before you go to bed, I want you to listen in on Leslie. See if there's any information she can give us, and then I'll let you two catch some Z's because it is 3 o'clock in the morning. It is pretty late. <laughs> it is very late. All right, let's see. Does Leslie say anything? Uh, he's using the bathroom. Yeah, he's using the bathroom. We're going to have him use the bathroom. Wash his hands, brush his teeth, and then hit the sack. What is she saying? What is Leslie saying? Hmm. Is she saying anything special? Oh, okay. If the government knew what I was up to, well, let's just make sure they don't find out. Awesome! So we received some more evidence of basic audio recording. Alright, so it seems like our friend Leslie is up to something, and from the look on Cassie's face, she's kind of disgusted. But we've gathered more evidence, right? Wasn't that more evidence? Oh, 12 pieces of evidence still? I think we went up one. Yeah, so we have we have more evidence. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is have Cassie call it a night. She is a bit hungry, but she's tired. She's been doing a lot in secret labs, planting bugs on people. We're going to have her just take a moment to just get some rest and regroup. She's a little hungry, but she can eat in the morning. And look at Tango. So adorable. Such a sweet little puppy. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just did something weird. But um, I'm loving this Let's Play so far. I can't wait to discover more things. I'm going to call it a part right here. We've discovered uh, so many things. We explore the secret lab. We have like 12 bits of evidence. There's so much happening. Uh, Cassie has kind of gotten in with the conspiracy theorists a little bit. It's good to have good ties in different places. She's blending in with her military personnel, but she's also making friends with conspiracy conspiracy theorist and the girl Leslie um, she got a little bit of information from her I kind of want her to befriend Leslie because you know Leslie stopped by to welcome her to the neighborhood so it won't be too suspicious if Cassie tries to form a relationship with her so we have to make sure that we uh, take care of those things but I'm going to end this part here I'm having a blast I hope you guys are as well thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it share it with your friends if you think they might like it as well because there's so much more to discover and i can't wait to make those discoveries with you all so i hope that each and every one of you has an amazing day no matter who you are or where you are or what you're going through and i will talk to you beautiful people and continue this investigation in the next episode bye guys